What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another BDSP VGC Showdown Live. Today I'm going to be showcasing this Latios team. Um, it's pretty interesting, Latios and Latios have really strange similarities and differences, if that makes sense. Uh, despite Latios not having the high uh, special attack stat that Latios has, it makes up for it in being just significantly bulkier. Uh, basically, the 80 HP plus uh, 90 defense and 130 special defense lets you just calc to live things that are kind of insane. This Latias in particular actually gets 3 hit KO'd by Toekiss Dazzling Gleam, and Crit, Dag uh, Crit Dazzling Gleam from Modest Toekiss doesn't uh, ever knock it out. Um, and if it's timid, a crit into a regular Dazzling Gleam actually might not even knock it out either. Uh, so I gave it a Wiki Berry, Tailwind, Draco Meteor, Ice Beam, and Psychic just for support. And the spread is pretty particular, you know, it's able to tank an opposing uh, Draco Meteor from non-Life Orb um, Latios. And if it is Life Orb, it doesn't really matter because we're Raikou on our team. So we're able to outspeed opposing Latios and go for a light screen allowing us to always take that hit. But before I get deeper into the team, do me a favor. If you guys enjoyed this video at any point in time, leave a like on it. Subscribe to the channel and turn notifications because I bring you daily BDSP VGC content. And that's for my comment question of the day. In Emerald, when you got to choose between Latios or Latios, which one did you go with? I went with Latios personally, but I'm more of a Latios fan now. Uh, also, be sure to check out my Patreon where I'm doing an exclusive series where I build around Pokemon that you asked for. And check out my Discord where I upload these teams and it'll just, you know, I upload like the team info and just makes it easier to get. And also you can keep up with my other stuff. But let's go ahead and get into it. But yeah, it's just like bulky Latios with um, enough speed to outspeed opposing Togekiss. Uh, we have Light Screen Raikou uh, or Light Clay Raikou with dual screens, Volt Switch and Snarl. Standard Life Orb Scissor with 4 speed, so I can probably win a speed tie versus non-speed Scissor. We got Dragon Dance Lumberry Tyranitar with enough speed to outspeed Garchomp at plus 1. Uh, we have Scope Lens Togekiss, and we have our, our extremely bulky Milotic. Team's been doing pretty well um, in like testing, but I am on my alt account, which is, you know, like low 1200s right now. Uh, we're still, I need to like do a dedicated laddering session. Uh, I've been doing it, it like, how do I say it? I haven't been laddering on my main account consistently because showdown streams don't do as good as BDSP in-game streams. So it's hard for me to find time to just do dedicated laddering, but I do need to find a day to do it. Maybe I'll do it tonight. I've mostly been doing BDSP streams though, so it's whatever, it's whatever. Uh, my Lumberry is on my T-Tar, but that is really scared of, <laughs> it's really scared of this guy. Uh, T-Tar actually looks awful in this matchup, to be honest. Now, maybe if I can get rid of something, Titar will be fine, but uh, I'm going to go Raikou Latios. Getting off a Tailwind turn one would actually be amazing for me. Uh, and I think in the back here, it's not a bad idea to go with Milotic. And I think... Actually, I'm going to go Titar. Titar is not that bad in this matchup as long as I can play it right. So they go Scizor Rotom. Um... Honestly, I should be able to just go for a reflect and go hard into my Milotic. And then I can like snarl on the Rotom or get off a light screen. I think light screen is actually more beneficial in the end. Yeah, so I'm going to get off a reflect and go hard into my Milotic. So they go Garchomp, that's great. You go for the X Scissor. I'm going to set up a Coil and I'm going to Volt Switch on the Scissor. Because I always take the Earthquake now. So go Rotom Heat. That's fine by me. They protect. Um, yeah, no. I can go right into Latias now and one-shot this thing with an Ice Beam. But Draco Meteor is technically safer. Actually, let me double check. Let me double check. Uh, I'm more likely to KO with Ice Beam strictly because Draco has less accuracy and Ice Beam has a what percent chance to KO? 87? Yeah, so what was it? Draco is what accuracy? I always forget. Um, 90. Actually, no. Draco is technically safer. Yeah. Hey, Dragon Claw. I eat that up. Connect my Draco. This thing's gone. They're probably going to Thunderbolt the Milotic. They discharge. That's fine. I don't get paralyzed or anything. And it also does like very little damage to this guy. 
I might even be able to set up like a, a Tailwind to make sure I don't lose to like Scarf Breloom. But I really doubt it'll be an issue. Since I have a uh, Reflect Up in a... Uh, <laughs> in that coil. There's the Breloom. Uh, I'm gonna go for the Tailwind here. It's gonna be really important to winning. Yeah. Because I should outspeed it. Uh, and I might even be able to get off Hypnosis. The only situation where I don't outspeed this is if it's Scarf. So let's go for it. Latias should be the fastest thing in the field. And boom, that's what you get. Try to put me to sleep, that's what happens. That's what happens when you try to put me to sleep. You don't get it. You do not get the sleep. Let me go for the Scald into a, in, uh, into a Psychic. That should do it even though I'm at minus two. Uh, it's just really safe, you know. Oh, not quite, not quite. Please don't wake up. Okay, that's great. That's great. Uh, Psychic is safe now. I can go for a recover. Yeah, nothing switches in. Unless they go Scizor, which they shouldn't. And they actually tried to protect there. Nice. And I still have two turns of Reflect and one turn of Tailwind. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is... I think I always beat Scizor now. Even if it likes Swords Dances. So I'm just going to try to KO this Rotom. Uh, Draco plus Scald should do it. If they bullet punch me, I eat that up. Like Reese's Puffs. And I get the crit. <laughs> I mean, I doubled into it anyways, but it's whatever. I win. GG's. Yeah, there we go. Uh, they went for the excess or Raikou took 18% because of the reflect, and that's game. Nice. Okay. So good first game. Good first game. I don't know. Let me know if you guys want me to just do a showdown stream where I get my ladder up. Because I like, I, I just don't do that, you know? I need to do that. So I have like, <laughs> I don't know. Like, I, I've always done just fine in tournaments. Like, you know, I top cut tournaments sometimes. And like, you know, I do okay in them. And I don't really need to like get really high on the ladder. I've just been playing long enough where I can do that. Uh, Guys, I'm scared. Maybe, maybe I spoke too soon. Maybe I should get higher on the ladder. I don't know what I'm facing here. It's like mono normal, but I'll just route one stuff plus a hitmon top, which isn't normal. So what's going on? Is this just fear strats? I mean, fear strats lose to priority plus Tyranitar. So I'm just going to do that. Should also probably go Togekiss to make sure I don't lose to this guy. And uh, yeah, uh, this is kind of weird. Wikibear Latias could also be really cool if they go full fear. Alright, seems to me like they're just going to go for, like, E-speed. I think I just Swords Dance here, because I never drop to the E-speed. I'll just go for damage. I, I think, yeah, they're just going to fake me out, so... There we go. Uh, it's in their best interest to... I don't know. I'm just going to protect here. Let's see if they have faint. They do. Okay. Well, now I am in range of that. Now I am. So my play here is going to be to protect. And I'm going to get in my kiss. They're going to close combat. They already revealed they have protect here. Um, I can get rid of this guy by going for just bullet punch now. And I kind of have to follow me. Kind of have to give up the kiss here. I prepared for fear. I didn't prepare for... Uh, if you don't know what fear is, it's just Focus Sash, Endeavor, and then the priority move. So they go for the Wide Guard. I don't know why they go for that. Probably anticipating... <laughs> probably just like anticipating me to go for like a Dazzling Gleam, but no need. No need. 
And yeah, Tyranitar is important to making sure I don't lose to Focus Sash stuff. This is not the Ladia showcase I signed up for, to be honest. <laughs> All right, yeah, that's Furret. Um, I don't know what Furret's gonna do, but I can protect here and I can just get rid of this guy. Making Tyranitar a lot safer. If they follow me, uh, don't mind that because Furret isn't that bulky. And they have Mock Punch. Like I said, I need T-Tar to win. Maybe not quite, maybe not quite. I mean, it drops to the next Psychic. Could go for the protect again. Yeah. Um just do this. Oh wait, not that. Protect, psychic. I try to protect again. If I get the double, that'd be great. If I don't, it's whatever. Rattata, that's fine. Alright. And now I go into my T Tar for the Scizor. Actually, no, I go into T Tar for the Latias, because that will knock out the level 1 Rattata. And I get Sand up, and it just makes it so I don't lose to the stupid freaking <laughs> that thing in the end. There we go. And now Latias wins, like every time. Psychic into you, Protect into you. That's fine, I do the same thing. Actually, no, it doesn't matter. I can just crunch here. I'm going to get close combated because they're going to follow me, you know, but it doesn't, it literally doesn't matter. Yeah, no, they don't KO me. Nice. GG. That was interesting. Uh, nice little, <laughs> nice little detour from normal games, but I suppose that's just what it is. All right, let's, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to get on highlighter. I'm going <laughs> to, I'm going to rank my account up so I don't have to do this. So I don't have to deal with that. All right, please give me like a normal game. I mean, we got a normal game for the first match. Just, just give me normal games for the rest of this, please. Please. Okay. Not terribly normal, but competent. Looks kind of cool. Uh, yeah, it looks like they are very against me intimidating their Pokemon. They have probably Inner Focus or Scrappy Kang. They got... <laughs> My Lotic here, which is, you know, just trying to keep me from intimidating the Scizor, but I don't have Intimidate my team anyways. Uh, I actually really, really like Raikou lead. The screens are going to be insane in this matchup. And I, once again, like the Latios. Actually, maybe I go with my Milotic on lead. Raikou Milotic actually looks great. In the back here, uh, Tyranitar doesn't look that bad as long as I can deal with the Pokemon that really it really doesn't like to face. So I think I go maybe I go Scizor actually. I think Scizor Latias is probably a little bit smarter. Yeah, Scizor has a much better matchup in this match. As they go with the Hitmontop Kangaskhan lead, honestly really couldn't be me. I'm going to go for my Reflect here. Uh, and I'm going to try to coil up because if I get this coil, I'm in a really good spot. They can't fake out me with anything. I mean, like, on the Raikou. On the on the Milotic, there are two Pokemon that can fake out me, but it was a bad decision leading off with them, so. He tries to fake out anyways, doesn't really get anything out of that. And here, it's in my best interest to... I think, yeah, I should be able to do this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and Volt Switch on the... Who has higher damage output? Kangaskhan and this thing have, like, the same attack stats, like 95. They're probably both maxed out. Uh, but I'm more concerned with Kangaskhan than anything. So I'm going to Volt Switch, and I'm going to Scald, and that might get it in range. All right, and here I can go into my Scizor. Actually, I think I go Latias. No, Scizor? I should be able to Swords Dance, right? Yeah, no. Last Resort? Ah, uh, not quite, bud, not quite. And yeah, most of their anti-scissor attack is like right here. So I should be fine. There's their scissor. Um, 
I'm going to Swords Dance up. This is going to be a weird Scizor mirror. And I'm going to attempt to Scald it. I'm faster, so that's great. Good damage. That actually probably puts it in range of X Scissor. They Swords Dance as well. Is that in Volt Switch range? I can probably Volt Switch and Bullet Punch here, and that'll guarantee a KO. And then I just get into my Latias and win. Yeah, Scissor Behind Reflect is mad bulky. Because it's got like base 100 defense, right? Yeah, or base, yeah, base 100 defense with base 70 HP behind Reflect. That's crazy. Anyways, they go for the Protect there. Uh, it doesn't quite matter because this thing's in Bullet Punch range as well. So I still just do the exact same thing and whatever happens, happens. Like they can't KO me with a bullet punch. But I can KO that thing with a bullet punch. I suppose they could go into hit on top, but I don't know. As soon as the scissor is gone, their damage output goes down by a lot. So they go into their hitmon top. Interesting play. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this KO anyways. So they bullet punch as well. Don't do quite as much. I get this KO. I go into my Latias. And I'm kind of sitting pretty here. I can just focus down this hitmon top and probably win. There's no chance a Moonblast actually KOs my, my Latias here. Uh, so what I can do is go into my Raikou. Attempt to Psychic this thing. Probably fail. Doesn't really matter though. They go for the fake out. Brings it down to half. Are you Citrus Berry? Yes, you are. And they go for the Moonblast, and I lose 43%. That is sad. Uh, but like I said, this thing, you know, it's within range of this. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and Volt Switch. Go for another Psychic. If they decide to follow me, so be it. Doesn't really matter. Doesn't really make a difference, in fact. And Hitmontop doesn't tend to run Protect. And because my Raikou's faster, that just kind of guarantees I get this. Is they Helping Hand? Interesting play. Uh, probably just really committed to getting rid of this Latias. As they do. And now I'm in a winning position. Because I just go for the Protect here. I go for the Volt Switch. And yeah. That's game. Nice. Ooh. Okay. We got some Parasect action. Let's see. Um... They have two Intimidators on this team. Two Intimidators. And... I'm actually really liking Raikou Milotic. Really liking that quite a bit, actually. Um, Scizor isn't looking that great due to the fact that Entei exists. Uh, they actually built a pretty cool team here. I think I'm going to go Raikou Milotic. I'm going to bring Latias in the back and I go Titar. So they go with the good old double, double dog. Uh, I should be able to get off a... I'm going to say the light screen is more important here. Unless they're choice banded, then I lose my Raikou. I'm going to go for the Reflect first. And I'm going to go into Latias, because Latias eats everything. Doesn't quite look banded, but it was pretty good damage. I'm going to get off my light screen now. And I can just start going for like psychics into that um, Raikou to make my <laughs> to make my Milotic's job easier because they don't have many answers to Milotic past the Raikou. Okay, check this out. Go to Milotic, Tailwind up. They're gonna snarl again. There's no chance they don't. I'm gonna need you to snarl. Please snarl, bud. There's the scissor. Oh yeah, there we go. That's what I wanted. I also get my tailwind here, which is just fine by me. And I can now, I'm gonna coil up. I really don't take much from that Raikou. I can probably go into Tyranitar as well. 
Actually, do I sack my Raikou and just get my Latias right back in? I think I sack Raikou here and Coil. It does like nothing. So they go for the Swords Dance. All right, uh, at this point, it's in my best interest to... That thing's probably Life Orb. I can attempt a Hypnosis. It's going to be really, really difficult, though. <laughs> I basically get two chances to Hypnosis this thing, so I don't really mind. And if I get this Hypnosis, this next turn, I'm just going to Scald and Dragon Dance. Land the Hypnosis. Is it Lum? It is not Lum. I'm going to Dragon Dance and I'm going to Scald. Because if I get two of these off, I should just win. I did like nothing. All right, and I still have three turns to reflect. So uh, this turn, I'm going to go ahead and Scald. Actually, no, I outspeed like everything on that team now. I'm going to Scald and I'm going to Crunch. All right, doesn't wake up still. That's great. Uh, here, my play is going to be to... And he's been asleep for two turns. I kind of have to risk it with the rock slide if I want to win. I mean, I'm like, I'm in like on my back foot here. I actually completely misplayed that last turn, I think. Probably should have recovered. Um, but I got a little greedy trying to get rid of Scizor. Yeah, uh, it's been asleep for how many turns? Actually, I think it's been asleep for every every turn. So this is probably the end. I'm going to Tailwind Rock Slide. Yep, there it is. As they protect. Nice. Um, I die to a bullet punch now, but it is life orbs. So I think if I go for Draco here, I have a solid chance of winning. Yeah, because I get my berry. They're not life orb, which is interesting. And yeah, I, oh, they're leftovers. I, I, I was skipping turns and I completely missed that. I completely missed the fact that they're leftovers. How much did my Draco do? 23%. Uh, I would have to crit here. And maybe I just tank. I probably don't, but I can just go for it and hope. Ooh, I don't know about that one, bud. I don't know about that one. Let's see what you have in the back. Entei? Hit Monta. Okay, they win. <laughs> <laughs> I was like Entei, okay, okay. I was hoping it was like Gyarados, cause then I, cause then I had an out, right? I mean, I technically still have an out if they don't have Wide Guard. If I flinch them a million times, which we all know is perfectly possible in the balance game of Pokemon. And yeah, all right, GG's. That was funny. Yeah, no, I, I, I should have recovered that turn. I tunnel vision too hard on the, on the Scizor. Because that Raikou had very little shot of actually KOing me if I just recovered. Let's go for one more. One more should be enough to get the video to about the length I want it to be. Ooh, okay, this is pretty cool. Uh, some Jump Pluff action. This team hates Light Screen. <laughs> it really does. Actually, this team hates Latias. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go Latias um, and Raikou. Like it has, it has pretty much nothing for that. Uh, my Lotic in the back as well isn't that bad. I think I go with. And they have a couple of things for Scizor, but not as much as they probably need. I'm gonna go Scizor. Yeah, that seems fine. Okay, let's see. The Pluff. They got the Pluff on deck. Uh, I'm 179 speed, so unless they're like Choice Scarf, I'm fine. I'm going to go ahead and go for a... I go for my Reflect here, and I can... I think I want to get rid of this Jump Pluff first. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Got my Reflect off. Um, I can KO this Garchomp if I wake up soon. 
I'm gonna Volt Switch here. Actually, do I Volt Switch? I think maybe I just go for my light screen. Yeah. Um, no, I'm gonna Snarl, actually. Snarl makes more sense because it can break a Sash on this thing, and if I wake up, I'm in a good spot. All right, Latias, wake up. Come on, wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Okay, not quite. Um, now I have to Ice Beam this thing. I think behind a Reflect, I just barely tank this. Okay, that's fine. Go into Scizor. Now I threaten a Bullet Punch. Which means they can't redirect this, and I Ice Beam here. Hopefully I tank. That's going to be really important here. I need to wake up, though. That's the biggest thing. There's the Pluff. Alright, wake up, Latias. If it goes for a Rock Slide, that actually could be an awful play for him if I wake up here. And it's gone. Nice. <laughs> I think they had to commit to KOing that Latias. Alright, uh, that thing's within Bullet Punch range, so I'm just going to do that, and... I am also going to... I'm faster than everything. I should just be able to Psychic. I'm actually slower than that Rotom. But I'm definitely faster than the Kiss, which is really nice. Uh, I'm going to X Scissor the Kiss. Yeah, or X Scissor the Rotom, but I end up winning anyways. Uh, we're only at 26 minutes. I suppose I can get one more. But yeah, I mean, the team so far is really fun. I think this is a really nice bulky team that's just overall really fun to use, you know? Ooh, okay. Got the ultimate showdown. Uh, I don't think they're going to lead Arcanine. I really don't. I'm going to go Latias Raikou. I definitely want my Milotic in the back, and I think my last Mon here... Um, how good is Scizor? Uh, Scizor is okay. Actually, Scissor's pretty good. But I might get more value out of Toekiss. Nah, it's Scissor. It's gonna be Scissor. What's my ranking right now? On the test account. Battle Festival doubles 1333. Not bad. For testing, you know. As they end up leading off with what I hope they wouldn't. So here, I'm going to say that, I mean, I can probably just go for the Ice Beam Reflect. You're going to Snarl? If they Snarl, it's fine. I'm just going to go right into my guy. All right. It's time, Tolkis. Actually, check this out. <laughs> Here's how I really mess them up. Here's how I really messed them up. I connect. Phenomenal. What you gonna do about it? What are you gonna do about it? You gonna get in my Raikou here? You're not gonna stay in with that. I'm gonna go for the Scald. If I get this burn, you're done. You are done. <laughs> I honestly, I really love my Lotic. I really love this Pokemon. It's, it's, it's just such a good Pokemon in VGC. That's fine. Uh, let me go for my light screen here. And now the Scald into the Arcanine is basically free. Like, nothing in that in that slot takes the Scald well. I guess the worst thing that could happen is I get, like, paralyzed on my Milotic. Which honestly happens more than you'd think. Burn? That's good damage. Hey, there we go. There we go. Okay. Uh, that should be in range of the next one. Yeah, the Skull did 47% that time, so I'm gonna Volt Switch on this guy. Actually, I could just Snarl. It doesn't make a difference. Like, even positioning-wise, you know. And I take less on my Milotic now. So I get my Scald KO. Where are you gonna go into? You nasty plotted? Don't care. I'm gonna Snarl you again. I still got my light screen up. 
Go into Arcanine, I dare you. Goes into Scizor, makes sense. Uh, he didn't reveal Protect, so I want to say he doesn't have it. He, he definitely does, I'm just going to say that, though. <laughs> he definitely has Protect, it'd be dumb not to run it. Yep. So he goes for that. Um... I mean, I just keep snarling, though. Like, the damage output on this thing is really nice. Hmm. I'm going to go into Latias. Or maybe I just Scald. I think I... Nah, I end up beating Arcanine anyways if I just get rid of this. It's not like I get KO'd here anyways. Oh, yeah. Oh, never mind. Never mind. That's that's how I get KO'd there. Uh, that sucks. It's all good. That sucks. Uh... <laughs> Let me think. Let me think. Okay. Uh, I have an out. It's not great. I'm going to Volt Switch, and I'm going to Draco on this, and then I have kind of a chance to win if I can KO the Rotom. Bullet Punch doesn't KO me. Yeah, I get my Berry. Volt switch, and that's within Draco range. I get in my own Scizor. I missed the Draco. Okay, now I'm in trouble. Now I'm in trouble. That was, This has all been pretty unlucky. <laughs> uh, that's, that's whatever, GG. Okay, so maybe maybe I should have just ended it there before I got all my luck taken away from me, but it's whatever. I think we did pretty good with this uh, with this team in this session. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like. Join the Discord if you want uh, more info on the team. I have the full pace there, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.